it's not going anywhere, so why not embellish it? Denise Wilde is here. Yeah. So to show you how you can have some fun with your jeans. You know, exactly. whether you're spending a ton of money on jeans or not, right. you can make them whatever you want to. Totally. And speaking of not spending a lot, all yeah. of these jeans I got from Value Village. Good. So you don't have to spend a lot. You can use jeans that you already have. It's about yeah. taking yesterday's favorite jeans and updating them to the latest trends. Right now, embellishing is everywhere on the runways in yep. the stores so I'm going to show you how to do it with uh, very easy techniques yeah and all different techniques so we're going to start with gluing it which exactly it's so, music to my ears yes. <laughs> what can we I do with you glue? might like that so this first pair these are actually just glued on you can take any type of fabric an ethnic fabric a Peruvian fabric yeah and I did that just by cutting out the fabric here I kind of want to get you hands on, but I am saving that sewing machine for you in the end. Oh my so, gosh, I'm using the sewing machine? <laughs> I'm going to use the sewing. glue. Okay, so here, this is special fabric glue. Okay. You can slide this out of the way. And what I did first was I cut out the exact shapes that I need for the backs of my pockets. Yeah. I took this fray stop and I run it along the edges. That prevents it from fraying. And this can go in the washing machine and it's perfectly fine. Well, that's what I was going to ask you about. So it's going to be okay. You can this wash them again okay. and again. You have to use the right the right type of glue though. Okay. This is specifically made for attaching fabric to fabric. Okay. And then all you do is you pick where you want, put the glue underneath, yeah. and then glue it down. So don't right use your here. kids uh, your kids glue stick. Don't use a glue stick. That's don't the sort of thing I would try gun. and do. It's not going to work. Exactly. You we'll know what? If you go them. to the your fabric store, craft supply store, you'll find all of the right products yeah. and then you don't have to think about it. So you glue that on can cut out a little piece, put it on the waistband. You can even do this on the back, underneath as a patch, so that it's Cute. poking through. And yep. do you, does it matter the kind of uh, material that you use, that you put on it? No. Like, do you so, have to worry about shrinkage or anything like that? That's a good question. You do have to worry about shrinkage at first, so the best thing to do is to wash your fabric first. Yeah. Once you've washed it, it's not going to shrink anymore. Got so it. wash it how you plan on washing and drying your finished jeans, and then you're good to go. Cut it out, glue it on. Done. So easy. So I love easy. That. Okay, okay. Now let's talk about ironing it. So the These next are cute. trend patches are everywhere. We've seen this all over the runway. Super cute. Take a whole bunch of patches. Yeah. Put them on, and this can be done with an iron. So I brought our Rowenta iron. It's a professional grade iron, but it's made for the home user. Okay. And you just pick your little patches. And I've brought a little pressing cloth here. This is a special Teflon pressing cloth. Nice. You can put your patches. And you need one of you these, right? Exactly, just to protect everything and make it go through, I'll get you to be in charge of that. So you keep the design up like it, it exactly. needs. Exactly, and you just give it, a, like push it like down. Really? Exactly, give it some pressure. Uh, look for an iron that has a lot of little steam vents because that will help to evenly distribute the steam like this one. Yeah. And this Rowenta also has a gauge to automatically choose the right amount of steam based on the iron setting. So that's a smart you don't iron. You have to think about it. Okay. Exactly, so let's see how we did. Did they stay? Uh, almost, Not at almost. all. We'll <laughs> have to give it a little bit more time. We'll do it after. <laughs> so, just follow all the steps I just did. <laughs> okay, so, so the, next one, iron it. the next one is punch it. I'll show punch you these it. ones. These are super cute. Oh, Remember the bedazzler? Yes. You can add little um, rhinestones, embellishments, any type of hardware to your jeans. That's adorable. I love this detail over at the cuff. So you can uh, find the right tool and then pick any gem. And I've used these uh, colored ones here. You can also use plain silver ones. Just put your fabric underneath. I've already loaded this in. Yeah. You just put it in and punch it down. So this is like heaven for a tween, but also I see a lot of uh, I, I see a lot of grown-ups that love the bedazzling. Oh, of course, they absolutely love it. I just so this bought a jean jacket over the weekend. It. This is what I'm doing later All today. All of this stuff is back in again, <laughs> big time. It is huge. Okay, or so. you can sew. Now these are actually <laughs> my favorite pair over there. I, I love, love what you did these. with these. So this one is two different pairs of jeans, and again, you can pick up jeans at Value Village. You can use jeans yep. that you already have. You can go to the store and buy them new, or you can spend a lot when you see. It on the runway or you can do it yourself so yeah. this is two pairs of jeans that I've combined just cut them off do it above the knee it looks a lot better with a long uh, amount of the second color yeah, you're probably and right. then the other thing that I did was I added uh, this um, 
lace details. So yeah. lace is really popular. And then again, if you want, you can just use the fray stop on it to prevent the edges from fraying. Yeah. And then we just put it under that the machine. That fray stop, I got to get some of that for all it's sorts of things. It's quite handy. It That's actually works smart. on nylons if you have a little oh. run in your nylon. Yeah, it's great. Smart. And then it lasts through the washing machine. So let's see if we can do this backwards. You know, backwards sewing is my new special talent. Well, I think that you could do it upside down. <laughs> I mean, you're while like singing. Yeah, while, while singing. singing and patting your okay, head. Okay, so I'll take out the need the pin and I'll get you to press that pedal right there. Oh, it's there right we in front are. Of you. Yeah. This, this should be so easy in stilettos. <laughs> right. So does it matter what the uh, pressure's Perfect. like? Perfect. There you go. So I'm going to do your little back stitch for you. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Where am I going? There we go. Okay, and then I'll try to pull out the pins before you get to oh, them. <laughs> It's hard to sew backwards while talking <laughs> in that high heels. But um, all you have to do is go down either side of this piece of lace and it's attached to your pants. That is and so cool. And then the other great thing about these machines is they have a little thing that comes off. So when you're sewing the, the cuff of your leg, you put yeah. it around. Easy to do. Beautiful. Voila. Look at the easy ways that you can DIY your jeans. And then if you are spending a lot of money, you can reinvent them. Exactly. But if you're not, they look as good as new.